graduated from high school and I started an apprenticeship as cabinet maker and I was there for six years. The money wasn't really that good and then also my brother had passed away and he was in mining so I looked up to that and wanted to be a part of that so I decided to make the change. It's been the best choice I've ever made. I didn't dream of what I would be able to do now, being in the mining industry. I think program understand our culture reasonably well. They look after Indigenous and their needs on site and off site. My relationship with the program team, I feel, is pretty important. Um, we need to have the two-way communication and ensure that we're treating and respecting each other. And yeah, to to make it work, obviously, we need a, a good, you know, working relationship, and that's that's both with communication and respect. The team at program give me a very personalised service. It's more one-to-one. -one. They look at my issues in a very timely manner, whether it's on the phone or via email. And yeah, the issues are, are resolved to my satisfaction and I don't hesitate in contacting them any time I see an issue coming up. I think it's very important that program understand the cultural backgrounds. As a general rule, they, they have a lot of empathy. For, for our cultural issues. That's where programmed are a lot better than a lot of other organisations in regards to their empathy. And that's one aspect that, you know, that I really enjoy about the program. They do take everything we say on board when it comes to cultural issues. The advice I'd give to Aboriginal and young Aboriginal people getting into the mining industry is to stick with it and it's very rewarding. It can be tough but it's, it's a good lifestyle and it gives you opportunities to progress and live your life better. Yeah.